Now let's make a slight modification to our table here. I want to show you the initializer for a table. So you can actually pre-populate a table with some literal values when you create that table. So what we're going to do is we're going to pre-populate some scores here. So I can just say right here in this table declaration, I can do, for example, let's say Mary equal 100. And then let's say we'll do teacher equal 100. So these scores are always be in this list. So if I were to just run this at this point, and let's just enter, let's say Jim and 44, and then Q, you can see that we have Mary, we have teacher, we have Jim. So that is just a way to pre-populate that. You can see that even though this is a string, we don't have to put this in quotes. This is sort of a shorthand way of populating a table. The other thing to know about tables is that we can actually access the data in a table by using either this syntax that we have here or a dot. So instead of using the this indexer and, and passing in as a string, for example, the key that we want to index, we could also do something like this. Let's say that at the end of this, we want to print the teacher's grade. We could do something like print, and then we could say grades.teacher. Since we know teacher is in there, it will actually print the, the grade for the teacher. It's equivalent to doing grades and then putting in here in quotes, teacher. These, these two things would be equivalent in that case. So let's go ahead and run that real quick and just see, I'm just gonna hit Q and then you can see we get 100 and 100. So both of these are equivalent ways of accessing the table.